ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Millwood's Musicals. Here I am, Keith Millwood, with two hours of your favourite songs from your favourite musical shows and musical films. And you may have recognised that theme music to my radio show, Millwood's Musicals, on Radio Tear Coid. Earlier this month, I celebrated a significant <laughs> birthday, yes. It was a diamond one. Now, make it out, make it out. For yourselves, try to, try to think. 21 plus 80, that's the one. Yes. yes, so I thought it was an appropriate time actually to celebrate the years of entertainment in which I've been involved in Swansea and outlying regions. And um, I thought I'd bring some friends together to remember the 20, 30, 40 years possibly, in which we've been involved in entertainment. Um, I've got some extremely special guests to help us enjoy the songs from the musicals. First of all, it's my utmost pleasure to introduce you to Allegro Choir and musical director, Rian Lloyd. Special guests, I'm sure many of you will recognise. Lynn Williams, Jean Buckland, Liz Bevan, and Karen Webb. Now many people say that I'm quite unique. <laughs> I know they, they, they broke the mould when they made me, I know that. Because of my sheer enthusiasm and passion for the musical theatre. I love entertainment in general, theatre, but particularly musical theatre. So the first song I thought encapsulates being individual. So I'm not going to sing for you. I am what I am from La Cage au Sol. creation so come take a look give me the hook or the ovation it's my world that I want to have a little pride in my world and it's not a place I have to hide in Life's not worth a damn Till you can say Hey world, I am what I am I am what I am I don't want praise I don't want pity I bang my own drum Some think it's noise I think it's pretty And so what if I love each feather and each bangle? Why not try to see things from a different angle? Your life is a sham till you can shout out loud! I am what I am! I am what I am! I'm what I am! Needs no excuses! I deal my own deck, sometimes the ace! Sometimes the juices It is one life And there's no return and no deposit One life So it's time to open up your closet Life's not worth a damn Till you can say Hey world I am what I
fifties. <laughs> I'm sure we've worked it out by now. Dying birthday, dying birthday. 1958, I was born, but I was a child of the sixties. And in the sixties, my first stage debut was as an elf in Snow White in Ebenezer Chapel in Dunbent, the social centre. Now, can you make out which one I am? Can you get anyone ever guess? Yes. Ah, oh, there it is, yes. I think I can still fit in that costume. <laughs> oh, we progressed on to Sleeping Beauty, but when you're looking for me, always look for the little one. Always look for the little one. There he is. There he is. Of course, at the time, it was the sound of the 60s. And to... Uh, much of the music of the 60s is now in, in, involved in musical theatre shows. There is a show, Let It Be, which is a chamber of music of the Beatles, yes. And to, to remind us of the songs of the 60s and the Beatles, it's my great pleasure to call Allegro to the stage to give you a medley of Beatles songs. Allegro!
than I used to be. There's a shadow hanging over me. Oh, yesterday came suddenly. Society, and uh, we performed The King and I. And in that show, a little girl in the chorus was there by the name of Catherine Zeta Jones. There she is at the age of 11. We see the beautiful lady that she is now, but many of us remember little girl of 11, Princess Ying Yarlak, she was in that production. Yes. Now, early shows included My Fair Lady. And here we have Rhea Jones as Eliza. There's um, Anthony Coughlin and myself waltzing around Rhea Jones there, yes. And I know we've got some other production stills from that show, yes. Shiny in the shoes, I know my place. Yes, the way <laughs> and uh, yes, Rhea conducting us there. And oh, Rhea, gosh, yes, oh yes, that's. And uh, as well as My Fair Lady, an early show was Sound of Music. And we have the star of the Sound of Music here because Liz was Maria Von Trapp. There she is marrying Captain Von Trapp there. And, uh, but I was only there to show off my knees, actually. <laughs> I was uh, flashing the legs as you do. <laughs> and, um, oh, I do scrub up well sometimes, though, yes, there we are. So, um, as well as that, my first role with Swansea Amateurs was, yes, Benny South Street in Guys and Dolls. Yes, Benny Feet, Benny, Benny South Street, but there we go. <laughs> oh yes, great fun. There with the players, played Benny South Street three times actually, so uh, there we are. Anyway, we're going to remember these shows now. We're going to be having Liz to, to recreate some of the songs from The Sound of Music, and we're going to have Karen to sing I Could Have Danced All Night. But before that, Lynn and I are going to sing the title song from Guys and Dolls. I got me act coming. I know that. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> what's played at the Roxy? I'll tell you what's played at the Roxy. A picture about a Minnesota man so in love with a Mississippi gal that he sacrifices everything and moves all the way to Biloxi. That's what's playing at the Roxy. 
What's in the Daily News? I'll tell you what's in the Daily News. Story about a guy who bought his wife a small ruby with what otherwise would have been his union dues. That's what's in the Daily News. What's happening all over? I'll tell you what's happening all over. Guys sitting home by the television set, what once used to be something of a rover. That's what's, what's happening, happening all over. Love is a thing that is victim. And it looks like Nathan's just another victim. Yes, sir! When you see your guy reach for stars in the sky, you can bet that he's doing it for some dog. When you spot a John waiting out in the rain, chances are he's insane as only a John can be for Jane. And when you meet a gent paying all kinds of rent for a flat there with front the Taj Mahal, call it sad, call it funny, but better than even money that the guy's only doing it for some dog. You see a Joe saving half a pistol. You can bet they'll be making it for some dough. When a bum buys wine like a bum can afford, it's a six of the bum is under the thumb of some little broad. When you beat a mug, a lady out of the jug, and he still lived in Platinum Folly Rock. Call it hell, call it heaven, it's a bum will try to sell him that the guys are be doing it for some dough. When you see a sport and his cash is run short, make a bet that he's bending on some dog. When a guy wears tails with the front leaning wide, who the hell do you think he's tickling pink on Saturday night? When a lazy slob takes a good steady job and he smells from my jealous in the call it down, call it clever, I'll give you your arms for everything that the guys are me to an impossible dog.
and eyelashes, summer like winters and melting to springs. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things, and then I don't feel so bad. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad. Swansea amateurs, Abbey players, and Gendros, as well as offspring players and the members. I couldn't get enough of it, no. Anyway, I used to also, and it's, this still carries on, I go to see so, so many shows. As I say, uh, the, the Western Mail reported 15 years ago that I'd been to see 500 shows in London. Yes, it's nearer. A thousand these days, I believe. The pocket shows it, yes. <laughs> but uh, all along, kept uh, enjoying being involved in musicals. And I know we've got some stills coming out of some other shows um, that uh, were around about this time. We had productions of Half a Sixpence. Oh, there we have Kiss Me Kate. Lynn is there, yes. Always uh, along the way, there's, there's Lynn. 
And uh, of course, Rona Scott, yeah, oh, yes, I'll yes. hold there. And <laughs> Andy Lee. <laughs> and uh, yes, and uh, some others have kissed me, Kate. I think I'm taking centre stage here. Claire Hanny, and the other chap there ended up in the Dream Boys. I don't know, they didn't ask me. They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, he ended up in the Dream Boys. But there we are. Half a sixpence, Sue McKee Reese, yes, right in the bar. <laughs> and Jean Lynn and I again in Brigadoon, Brigadoon, and Jean, oh yes, singing away there to our heart's content, and uh, Jean and I taking the coating call there in Brigadoon, yes, life full of colour as I say. So, uh, the songs from shows that denote colour, and we're going to now have um, a song from Lynn Williams in a few minutes, Red, red roses. I wouldn't send roses. And, but before then, yes, a little surprise for Liz. Do you remember this, Liz? This is down with the Academy Players in Fletley. Sweet charity, isn't it? Yes, it's Big Daddy. I was the one in the back there. <laughs> with a touch, with a touch, with a touch. Yeah, but there's, uh, there's Liz. Oh, yes, looking splendid, absolutely splendid. So I'm going to ask Liz now to sing with me another song about colour. It's from Barnum, and it's called The Colours of My Life. The colours of my life are bountiful and bold. The purple glow of indigo, the gleam of green and gold, the splendor of a sunrise, the dazzle of a flame, the glory of a rainbow. I put them all to shame. And fill them till they overflow with rose and cherry red. And should this sunlit world grow dark one day, the colors of my life will leave a shining light to show. Of a sea, the crystal of a river, 
bruises. I'll hold the door. I won't remember which dress you wore. My heart is too much in control. The lack of romance in my soul will turn you gray, kid. So stay away, kid. Forget my shoulder when you're in need. Forgetting birthdays is guaranteed. And should I love you, you would be the last to know. And roses, and roses soothe you. So my pace is frantic, my temper crossed. With words romantic, I'm at a loss. I'd be the first one to agree that I'm preoccupied with me, and it's inbred. So stay your head. Give me you'll find things. My guts and nerve. But not the kind of things that you deserve. So while there's still a fighting chance, just turn and go. I won't send roses. And roses soon. songs by Allegro. First of all, we're going to be having one of my favorite musicals again, Seven Brides and Seven Brothers. <laughs> and we'll also have, we'll have James then to sing a song from the show Pippin called Corner of the Sky. Um, Allegro will then sing from Blood Brothers, Tell Me It's Not True. And Lucy will sing, Think of Me from The Phantom of the Opera. Allegro! Bless your beautiful heart Bless your beautiful heart Bless your beautiful heart Wherever you may be We ain't met yet, but I'm willing to bet You're the gal for me Oh, I swap my god and I swap my mule Whoever took it would be one big fool Pay your way through cooking school If in you would say I do Bless your beautiful height Prepare to bend your knee And take that vow Cause I'm telling you now Alice 
isn't just enough. And hearts have regals the same. They are all the same. Not her, not her, not her, not her. Love comes and goes away. Your curtain bed tonight. Love comes and goes away. I'm older, and I always let you ride.
I always that after this. Now then, if I had to say and uh, talk about any particular composer that has had an impact on my life, I'd have to say it's the work of Stephen Sondheim. In the 1980s, yes, the mid-80s, the same week I went to see the shows Company in Bristol and Follies in London's West End, and I was hooked. In 1989, in Chichester Festival Theatre, I saw a production of A Little Night Music, and I so wanted to bring that show to Swansea that I set up a company, Moonlight Theatre, and presented the show, got the cast together, we got the three of the cast members here tonight, Lynn, Liz, and Jean, and um, we put on A Little Night Music in the Dylan Thomas Theatre. Three years later, we were asked to present the show on the main stage of the Grand Theatre as part of the 100 years celebrations of the theatre. Here you can see some of the cast. You'll also recognise Jean Thorley and Colin Hodges and the lovely Beryl Williams. You can see Anne Birch, the Jew, as well. Yes, Beryl Williams. I must say that Beryl was such a chum with me. We used to be cronies together often on the stage, <laughs> and she was often my dramatic advisor. So, and we've got one that lovely one of Jean, I think, with my mum. Yes, this Dorothy. Yes. So, mum and Dorothy and uh, Jean. And uh, we've got some other photographs of Jean. That has a little bit of a surprise. Jean, keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> what have we got? Oh, oh yes, oh yes, we've got some others. Oh, here we are. Up the swells, keep up the swells, yes. Oh, we're making wonderful traps. And Imogene Charlene and <laughs> Chip Brewster in the best little whorehouse in Texas. <laughs> what shows we do these days, is that? Yes, there we go. But, um, Yes, oh yes, of course we presented Follies then in 2002 and this was such an amazing time because we clinched the deal to perform Follies in the Palace Theatre in Swansea's High Street. Now, originally that's a musical going back to 1888 and uh, it was being used as a nightclub at the time but it hadn't had a theatre piece there for 41 years. So, it was so apt for Follies, because just to remind you, uh, Follies is about a reunion of theatre people on the eve of the demolition of the theatre. God help the Duchess, I don't want that to happen to the palace, but it was the perfect venue to put the show on. And of course, within the show are the ghosts of what the Follies girls and their bows were. So, uh, yes, and again, three uh, members of the cast, Liz, Liz and Jean, yes. So, oh, here we are, the Follies, that's on stage at the Palace Theatre. Um, that was July 2002. Sadly, it closed as a nightclub in September of that year. And since then, the theatre has remained dark, which is a, a crying shame as far as I'm concerned. So there we are, but it just shows what can be done. Follies in its glory at the palace. Um, with uh, Stephen Sondheim's shows, I also directed Stephen Sondheim's Side by Side by Sondheim. And uh, from that show, we're going to be having Jean now to sing The Boy From. And then we're going to have two songs from Liz, and she's going to sing Sent in the Clowns from A Little Night Music, followed by Losing My Mind from Follies. Tell us all about your holiday romance, Steph Jean. <laughs> <laughs> Follow in the boardroom. Tad carry Mama to Mother to wake up. I don't know how to take a night and go on. Go down, so I'm through. When we 
sun comes up, I think about you. The coffee cup, I think about you. I want you so, it's like I'm losing my mind. and then she'd be selling the tickets and she was there front of house on the house of the show. So, from Minnie's boys, I wanted to sing the song Mama a Rainbow. This show is about the Marx Brothers and their mother. So, this is for Dorothy, this is for Mum. <coughs> To the lady who has given all her life and love to you. What do you give for the reason you are living? I could window shop the world before I'm through. A rainbow, mama, the sunrise, mama, the moon to wear. That's not good enough, no, not good enough, not for mama. Mama, a palace, diamonds like doorknobs, mountains of gold to spare. That's not rich enough, no, not rich enough, not for Mama. Mama, a lifetime crowded with laughter. That's not long enough, not half long enough. What can I give you that I can give you? What will your present be? Mama young and beautiful, always young and beautiful, that's the mama I'll always see. That's the mama with love from me.
with love from me. Because after this evening's show, I held a buffet for you all. So it's, that's on me, that's on me, so there's food for us all after the show. So we're going to be having a short interval in a few minutes' time. Uh, we're going to keep it to ten minutes so they've both got more time then for the songs and sandwiches. Okay? <laughs> so, right, anyway, uh, again it's my utmost pleasure to introduce Allegro. We first of all going to have Ellery with the Alto's Lament. Now, this is about a young lady who so wants to sing the melody, but she's always singing the harmony. So we go, we've got Ellery with the Alto's Lament, and then we have a song that I know you will love. It's One Day More from Les Miserables. Allegro!
of destiny, this never-ending road to Calvary. These men who seem to know my crime will surely come a second time, one day more. I did not live until today. How can I live when we are not One day more. Thank you.